What's up everyone? I'm Zara, that Eurasian chick, and today I want to talk about Resident Evil 4. Now this game originally came out in 2007, but they did a remake that officially launched on the 24th of March 2023. There's no shame in admitting this, but I am a big chicken. I am probably the biggest uh, scaredy cat you'll ever meet in your life. In saying that, I miss playing this game. Um, yes, this is a scary game for me. If it isn't for you, I would love to know your thoughts. What do you think is a scary game? What I love very much about this game is... Well, it's the character, uh, the character progression, the characters itself. Although I didn't really like Ashley. I feel like she was a bit of a pain in my butt. Oh, she's already outside waiting. This is the right way. If only we could just run, but she doesn't want to run with us. The map was really cool, very easy to navigate through. Um, this, what we're looking at right now, the selling, the inventory, all of that's very, very, very neat, very easy, although it looks complex, but it's quite simple to get through um, and understand. I'm a very simple gamer. I don't really like complicated stuff. I like just, you know, I want to connect with the character. I want to be submerged in the world around me. There you go. Run! And I want to just start slaying. Lady with the, you are nasty. Yeah. In saying that, let's talk about the monsters real quick. So I'm not going to compare this to any other game, but there is a scary game that I have in my mind where they consistently use the same mini boss over and over and over again. And it's just like, <sighs> OK, you know, now I know how to defeat this. I know how to get past to the next level. All right, great. But with this game, with Resident Evil 4, it was consistently surprising. I was always getting, um, I guess, thrown off. I didn't think this was going to be a mini boss. And then turns out this is the boss. Or, for example, there'd be a bad guy, right? I'd think this is going to be for sure. I'm not going to see this boss. I'm not going to face this boss until the very end. Because for sure, this is the main, main, this is the boss. But then it turns out it's not. And then I'll go, okay, so the next bad guy, this is the boss. This is the final boss. All right, are we ready? Are we ready to use the rocket launcher? And then it turns out it's not. So I was consistently surprised and amazed. I think they put a lot of thought and effort and planning into this game and I can really appreciate it. I wanna say thank you very much for your time, guys. Um, if you do like the video, why not give it a thumbs up? I hope you can catch my next video. Let me know how you feel about Resident Evil as a franchise, Resident Evil for itself. Let me know if you've played the game. I wanna know if you've played the original back in 2007. Let me know, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you again. If you do have time to comment, I would really appreciate that. Take care, I guess, for now. Bye.